Hey there, welcome to day 2431 of What You Have To Now. Sharon Hoyle from here, documenting the journey originally as I went from the brick and mortar corporate world of businesses to the online world of business, and then back and forth again for a long time as the internet was developed, because I was born before there was an internet, obviously, and it came into being and early on in the early stages, I was an early adopter. I was super curious being an engineer and a, a science nerd and a math nerd of course i was fascinated by the internet but i didn't necessarily see or, or it as a viable or i never imagined what it's become already today and, and you know i don't even know the the half of what goes on in the internet i know that there's a little piece of it that i use but there's a, a whole other world out there that a lot of other people use so Today, we're talking about contribution growth. We're going, we're hopping into the growing process. Step one, which is a smart goal for the area of contribution growth. We're focusing on contribution this month as part of the life framework, the nine part life framework, which I just took down, uh, that we use as a partial structure and framework for this year's annual challenge. And so each month, we focus on one of the nine areas of the life framework that I've used. Uh, nine areas since 2021 but prior to that it was the seven part life framework i learned it from jim Rohn and, and tony robbins back in i want to say the 1980s probably the early to mid 1980s it's been that long that i've used the same framework for kind of structuring my life now sometimes i used it really really well and followed it and was true to it other times of course i let it slip and slide because i was super duper busy living my life and actually those are the times i struggled the most because i was running through my life and i wasn't focused on what was most important for me and the things that I wanted to achieve in my life. I was doing whatever I thought other people thought I should do, which never works out very well for us. I don't know if you've ever noticed that, but when we are not living and being true to ourselves, we tend to be super duper frazzled and stressed. And even sometimes when we are, we're super duper frazzled and stressed. So, <coughs> excuse me, still got a little bit of allergies going on. It's fall here in Wisconsin and we get a whole new group of crazy allergens and for years I've said I don't have any allergies I'm not allergic to anything but obviously I am so uh, I think I'm going to stop denying and start uh, dealing with it so that I can minimize the impact of allergies in my life they're not bad they're just annoying right really annoying because they interrupt my videos with coughing so today contribution growth goal I'm setting a goal to uh, do some things with my beautiful mother. She is still here, but leaving at the end of the week and going back to her home in Texas. And I want to make sure that I can uh, continue to help in any way that I can uh, while she's down there and at her house. She's having some medical challenges where she's not going to be able to drive, which I can't help her out because I'm legally blind and not allowed to drive either. But I can help her out with a lot of other things. I can cook. I can do laundry. I can clean. I don't love those things, but I sure can do them. So I can help her out in any ways that she might need support and help. Uh, and again, we're, we're setting it our goals through the end of this year, but it doesn't mean that our goals end at the end of this year, right? Uh, but I'm just, for the purposes of the challenge, the Let's Grow Annual uh, Facebook challenge, I am doing, it's not a Facebook challenge, it's just an annual challenge. I happen to record it on Facebook and share it on Facebook. <clears throat> uh, we're doing... Uh, we're going through our growing process at the end of each month for each different area and aspect of our life. In this area, this month, we're focusing on contribution. For Supersize Your Business, I'm doing, and today was day 42 of what I call fundamental supersizing business strategies. Supersized business strategies that can apply to any business, any industry. Now, today is doesn't, doesn't, but I think it's the chaos strategy. And it's having a plan for dealing with the chaotic, unpredictable craziness that happens in all of our businesses and all of our lives, actually. How do we deal with that? You know, it's a lot similar to the change strategy, but it takes it a step further in that these things are unpredictable, unknown, and unknowable in many instances. How do you handle those things? We have to have a process and a way of dealing with that in our organizations. Number one, so we deal with those things successfully. So we react to, you know, a tsunami hits your plant. What are you going to do? Uh, COVID hit all of our businesses and all of our lives in 2020. And I don't know about you, but I know very few people that had that as part of their contingency plans. That was chaos beyond chaos. And millions of businesses and millions of people struggled and 
lost their businesses during that time period because they didn't have a way of dealing with the chaos and the change and the challenges. So we talked about chaos strategy today. That's all I've got. If I can help you in any way, please hit me up and ask. Otherwise, have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow just to let you know what's going on in uh, my transition and in the world of, of uh, offline and online business. Any questions, I'm always here for you. Otherwise, have an amazing day.